the girl in the school was the the most famous act. Not only besides Martin Luther, Luther King marches and speeches because the schools were separated in the south so plus the best ones were where the white ones study not only that but if you wanted to vote you had to pass the the preparation test that the white people make sure that the African Americans didn't win. So first they had to to be able to go to school to the right ones. So a mother sent her daughter to the school where she got rejected so the mother sue she won but when the daughter started to to go she got killed something similar happened to to the protesters that tried to get in the spots where the white people seated in in the buses they got hit they got they had to support endure different times of humiliations until they simply were forced to get out but everyone started to do it so the white people had to use force against the african americans which got noticed by the press and other people uh, plus the government in the united states that's where the reverend luther king got involved pressing speeches about equality, about doing something to make the country be heard or make the country heard the African American voices plus the, the other groups that were involved with the uh, African Americans. They start marching singing songs they got beaten they got killed in some point but they continue until they got to to the center of the capital of Washington where Martin Luther King made the famous speech the the sentence or the rulings started a long time ago to go in the way of the african americans make, making sure that equality was always favorite until it was a, a number of amendments that made the, the African Americans be equal. But that this wasn't so right or wasn't that true before because there were separation, discrimination, lack of good studies, lack of vote because there were a preparation test that the white people made sure that 
the schools for African Americans didn't teach well, didn't prepare well. Plus, the the system were in no ways separate, separate neighborhoods, separate restrooms, etc. Plus, the regimes were was a system that was nationalized in the south plus institutionalized in the north that they were just overcoming but in the wars that the united states fought the rations was capable first of all because they had to fight in the front lines the 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 grades of the military or the charges were different and in many cases couldn't ascend to high ranks or get better jobs in the military they were promised well treatment reformation of the uh, of the norms of the regulations of the constitution but to be treated as equals to both but it that didn't happen so that was the standard on the world war wars on the world wars plus korean wars but what the government had to do for the vietnam war was to obligate the people to go but muhammad Ali said no because that wasn't his war he wasn't an enemy of the Viet Congs. He wasn't, he hadn't been mistreated. For that, he got locked up, but he didn't go after the Vietnam War that was a disaster. Muhammad Ali got released and got his world title because he was a boxer. The abuse of the police was had always been in the face of of the United States and other countries, but in the United States has been against African Americans where some people have been killed like in the 90s, where the policemen were free. But now it happened again. The people again has called for justice. There were marches. The policemen got arrested, got discharged, now facing trial. The trial has been witnessed from outside by protesters in form of death because of the abuse, abuses. There have been another incident, a second, a second kill. That's why another amount of officer has been called for, for trial and out of service. The reform of the the state police, metropolis police has been called into issue. Although the American government doesn't want to, to dismantle the police or reform it, 
the reforms are needed to treat the people as human beings plus protect them. This because of protests and plus they acknowledge that the statues and monuments that are have been in the United States, most of them are from people that had slaves or have brought them or have brought the the slaves trade into to the United States. They want to dismantle those monuments. In some states, some cities, it had happened, but in Washington, Trump hasn't been allowing it. He has, he had put forces to protect them. Although by saying that those monuments are national treasures where it might have been, but because they had the slaves, they represent racism and past mistreat them for for the African Americans and African Americans needs cure needs to recover of wounds, seal wounds. So that may be the the thing that it need to be done to seal the wound, recover, cure wounds. Until that doesn't happen. Plus the societies show remorse, so show real changes. It will be difficult. This has happened around the world. For example, in Colombia, in the protests, where had they had accused other countries for uh, endorsing protests when their real needs, real emergency, that was the reason and has been the reason for protests. But this month, the, the police that has been the unit of the police that is expert is assigned for the protest and are expert units for the protest have abused their power by dismantling the protest sometimes by force, although the the after hours of pacific protests strikes there have been reports of racket radical lynch groups for that had attacked S monuments city properties business so the smart had to act although the protest cannot enter or get near important buildings like the airport. They have been posted to to guide the protest to another way, to another direction. But sometimes the past protest went bad because the radicals group didn't listen to that to that direction and they had and they attack each other but in one moment an student had got killed because he was confused maybe as a radical but 
some other says and in videos it, it can be shown that he wasn't he just was going the re direction that it wasn't safe to go because a ra radical group has been were dismantled moments before or was being dismantled and a police shot in the direction of the student with a weapon that supposedly wasn't deadly but it was because it had blanks that were too dangerous in certain distance and certain force that practically blow his head out. It wasn't a lot to be done for the kid. Now another tragedy has happened with the death of the, the recently graduate lawyer because he he got in the past into disagreements with the police about the treatment of the police with the people of a neighborhood but so the police sentenced him or what warned him uh, against another time but the student or the graduate didn't listen so when he got out of a store or was walking home he got he got abused by policemen with tasers it seems that's what the news are saying or that he was near a store and he was arguing so the the police the policeman had to stop him with tasers but he got tased a lot of times and plus the student or the graduate begged them to stop but they didn't after that he got taken to a, a police quarter from a neighborhood of Villaluz that in Colombia is called Kai and he died there it seems following investigation that he was taken off his life by the by the police so the police suspend the, the policeman but didn't give any any statement of asking for forgiveness or saying that the police needed any reform or anything like that or any similar or accepting responsibility just saying that it was a separate case a few rot fruit but the people are asking for 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 justice reforms but they ask by protest by damaging popular or serious properties politicians one arrested and one not arrested from but in a twitter one saying for a lockdown and the other one endorsing protesters to continue even if that was 
in a violent way. This should not happen because they are leaders and they're not, not about to burst the flames, but to calm the, the nerves. Big plus, this is a problem of the of the sentences to solve their wounds and to decide what to, what to do and to do the right things. Returning to Black Lives Matter, this is an example of racism when you institutionalize when reforms are needed, movement, movements have been done to reform, but the authorities abuse their power. Representatives of the racists and the and a system that was imposed was a normal a normality in the past that was cruel to the African Americans shouldn't be endorsed by having monuments. They should be taken down because that's not respectful for the victims. But this is not an excuse to decide what, who, or what kind of ideology can be this be be part of the system in the next election or what kind of country it should be because the liberties have to be respected a way of life has been respect need to be respected but with reforms and with liberties in exact matter with the rights respected but with obligations respected too plus people that have endorsed or have lived in countries where Racism has been a norm and not talk and and not say anything about their own country system but criticize how other systems work. It shouldn't be in endorsed because if you are gonna talk about a racist, a racist, you should do something about your own country, generational discrimination system. I'm talking about people from Pakistan and India where they are a class system that cannot go higher or lower if you are born from the 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 one that you belong you should stay in that and you'll always be that even but if you married to a higher or lower stand, you will be a rare and a normality. So if you criticize the racists in other countries, but you see the racist, black discrimination. 
by next measure selection stance in your country you are not as authentic as should you should be so if people from Pakistan or India criticize racism but doesn't criticize your own country system social system as you should because Gandhi who did then you should keep quiet because in your country that's a problem too that social system is a problem too because it's a racism racism system institutionalized system that's more older than practically Jesus Christ or like some Jews call the thing the thing the the low weight of Galilee plus system victims of any kind of discrimination, any kind of annihilation, any kind of crimes that are were crimes against races that were part of races with the excuse of extinguish. You only could talk about racism against racism if you do not do this. But if in your country or in the country that you endorse do something similar by supporting giving head ups to governments that maintain colonies on pieces of land that are in of this country but belongs to another country that maintain people that doesn't have land or any country basically in a in a state of inferiority and separate like uh, like the system of the subtle subtle state of United States if you endorse support or give head ups to this kind of system political system race that is a racist institutionalized system you shouldn't talk about the wrong of racism because you are supporting endorsing giving head ups to another kind of re institutionalized racist system